Hey, how are you folks? And welcome back to Destination San Antonio, presented by Coors Light. Jason Horwitz alongside head coach of Columbia, Joe Jones, CBS College Sports Network, Steve Lapis, and CBS Sports is Bill Raftery. Uh, four one seeds in the Final Four for the first time all time. Two of them are gone. One of those is UCLA. Three straight trips to the Final Four. First time since Phi Slamma Jamma that a team has lost three consecutive years in the Final Four without winning a national championship. Are people going to remember this team 20 years from now? And if so, how are they going to remember them? Well, I think they had an unbelievable unbelievable run. You know, to be able to get to three Final Fours is just tremendous. So for me as a coach, I, my hat goes off to Ben Holland. I wish they would have won this this thing uh, last night. But they, they have to feel good about what they accomplished. Yeah, let's not start talking like alumni or something. <laughs> Come on now, what are we doing here? I mean, yeah, they went to three straight Final Fours. So we can put it in perspective as coaches that we all are, were. And uh, what they did was an incredible thing. Now, what does that mean at UCLA? Obviously, there's going to be people at UCLA who are going to be all over Ben because he did not win the title because the, West, the Wizard mm -hmm. of Westwood is right there. But we all understand this is a great accomplishment. Well, but Bill, they, what's missing? What's missing from them to take that step and win the title? They didn't play a great game. Uh, they, they were hesitant, and we had them last week. I thought they were coming out of the funk. The latter stages, the Collison maybe four of the last five games, he struggled. I'll remember you had sunglasses on when this is all over. I mean, I'll remember Collison <laughs> struggled. And when you cut off the head of your team, which they were able to do, it's not the same team. And, and I think Love, he found out something. He's got to get in shape to be able to run the floor with these guys. And, uh, and I hope he does stay because he could be a dominant force. They did not play their game. The better, play, the, uh, the better team won. Oh, yeah, the no better question. team won. And they flat out the better team won. Right? And, you know, one add-on, though, a quickie, Steve, is Roy Williams was the, guy, the last guy not to win the major, right? We were always right. talking about that in golf. Well, Roy, when he was at Kent, the guy can't win it. We all heard that. Bayheim. You know, too. now yeah. he's Mr. Warmth. Yeah. He's running around. But it, it, it's like, it, That's how it goes. you know, Bill Self is a guy. Like, I mean, you keep knocking at the door as Ben will. He'll get his. It's just destiny almost. You play a great team and struggle. You know, you're going to lose. Let's talk about that great team and what they're going through right now. John Calipari throughout the week and now here into the weekend is constantly harped on the fact that it obviously would mean so much for his kids. But he keeps talking about how much it would mean for the city of Memphis. Talk about that, Steve. Well, the city of Memphis has had some problems. Their crime rate has really been high. And John has talked about all these types of things. He was very proud the other day when the Reverend Jesse Jackson came to practice. So he wants this to be kind of a, a, a gathering force to get everybody together in Memphis because the city has seen some hard times. And he thinks that this can really help. Well, I, I think these kids are, are united in a cause. Let's face it. And part of it is the community. And I think any coach, no matter where you are, you get tied into what's going on. And really, uh, the greatest thing I think about sports is you help charities and you get people better educated. And I think that's what's John. But John is one of many that do it. And Joe knows firsthand, I'm sure, being at Columbia. Yeah, you get them feeling good about what you're doing in the sports. I think it just, it just helps the community, as you said. That's, that's a great thing about athletics. And we've seen that here in San Antonio. Destination San Antonio, presented by Coors Light, will continue on Monday. Everything always on demand on CBSSports.com. We'll see you then, folks. Take care.